watch you as you drive Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet I'm gonna be making a chocolate peanut butter chip skillet cookie um, I got this off of the Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. It used to be his uh, mother's channel, and he took it over. She passed away, I believe it was around Easter this year. She passed away of cancer. Uh, so he kept his channel going. So this was her recipe. And... Have your oven preheating at 375 degrees. He said put the pan in the oven. I'm using my cast iron skillet like um, Marshall did. Now you're going to need two sticks of softened unsalted butter. You want it soft, not melted. Like this, where you can squish it. You're going to need half a cup of white granulated sugar. One cup of packed brown sugar. I got uh, light brown here. It doesn't matter if it's um, dark or light brown, I believe. I would think you could eat, use either one. Now what you're going to do is if you, you just take a fork or like this kind of fork. If you have a dough. What is it called? A dough masher or something like that? But this works just as fine. And you get that mixed together. Got it blended good like that and now what you're going to do is add two eggs one at a time and two teaspoons of vanilla extract so let me crack open got two large eggs here teaspoons of vanilla extract. And he said you can use vanilla flavor, but he just likes the extract better. I've already got that butter mash, so I'm going to use this.
Plus this has a, has a scraper on it and it'll scrape up too. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to add one teaspoon of baking soda. Two teaspoons of hot water. Okay, that's hot water. And now what you're going to do is add a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. And then one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Now I'm just going to add a little bit and then stir it. Half a cup at a time. And then mix it together. Okay, and then you just mix it together like this until it's all blended in there. Now, if you don't like peanut butter and chocolate together, you can just add chocolate chips to this. You don't want chocolate chips, then you can add peanut butter, whatever. You can add butterscotch chips. I bet you this is going to be good because I like Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Okay, so I've got this all blended together. And now what you're going to do is you're going to add a cup of chocolate chips and a cup of peanut butter chips. And then fold those into the cookie dough. Okay, now be very careful because your, your skillet is hot. It just came out of the oven at 375 degrees. And I sprayed it with some nonstick cooking spray. So I'm, this bowl is heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
add it in one like that and then spread it out. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to spread the cookie mix into the skillet. Like that. Spread it evenly. And I wouldn't recommend eating this cookie dough either. This is not edible cookie dough. Okay, so now that I've done all of that, he said put it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. And I'll check it at 15. Let me tell you, I thought I was never going to get this cookie done. It took me almost 50 minutes to get it completely done. When I went to cut into it, it was still gooey and was not looking done. I've already tried it and it's it is very good. Maybe maybe he used a smaller skillet or something for his to get done in 20 minutes because there was no way I can't remember what size this is. I think it's a nine inch. But anyway. It was not getting done in 20 minutes. So, yeah, it took about 45, 50 minutes for this cookie to get done in my oven. You just have to keep checking, and if it's still jiggly and gooey, so... It's done now. It is really good, though. I did try it. So, thank you for watching. If you're not subscribed... I hope you'll subscribe and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Bye.